finally, the executioners are fucking done. We don't have to be done with these fuckers anymore. The fight is finished, finally, at all people. And, yo, I know I don't normally fucking rant about fairy tale. I love this shit. Definitely for this episode, fucking hell was it. Just so much filler. They did not want it all to go for us. Yo, I've been, like, just checking the chapters and stuff to see how where we've been going in this. And it's just that it's bad when we just did ten pages of the chapter for fairy tale. I'm dead serious. We have done ten pages just for this material to finish off the executions. And when I'm happy, yo, we finally finished them. And they actually did give a lot more content to the executioners. And I've enjoyed them a hell of a lot more than what they did in the, like, what I did in the manga to the anime. It's like, the anime did them a lot better as they portrayed them. It's like, still, it's like, it's the fucking executions in the end of the day. And it's just like, they're so shitty. It's like, definitely throughout this episode, it was like, Mira Jane, this is Kamika with the um, paper magic. And it was like, they filled the fuck out of her, you know, giving her more powers. And all that. It's like, yeah, making Kamika like a lot more of a um, terrible threat, you know, like with a paper magic. But it's like, Mira Jane wasn't even fighting for most of the episodes. She was just there taking it. And it was like, yo, when she went into uh, Satan's soul, and just breathed in all the poison and just didn't get like she was going ham on this bitch. Literally like grabbing her by the skull and just like crushing it and it's like, yo, Mira Jane, this is why Mira Jane is fucking sick. This is why she's the older and the leader of, you know, the takeover siblings. This is why she's the boss right now. And definitely another thing as well, what I liked for the filler that they'd add in, there was a bit where they added like a little bit with, you know, Panther Lily and Mira Jane. And Mira Jane's one thought was a lot more impactful when Kamika like put her in the um, purple binding and it gave her like flashbacks of, you know, what happened with her sister, you know, and finally again, you know, back with her, her family and it's saying like, I've gone through tragic events and I've managed to through it and it was thanks to my friends and the magic. I thought that was a really good thing. Yo, even Wendy, her fight with Cosmos, that was pretty good. She was able to break out of Cosmos' magic by using, you know, her nullifier saying, yo, you can't go against me like this. And it's like, Wendy going in, smashing that. Yo, Wendy doesn't even get that much time of a fight. And it's like, yo, when even Wendy does a job well done, got to give the credits. And not to mention as well, Natsu. Natsu's fight was pretty fucking sick. I mean... Freaking the Tai Tai guy, that was pretty much just whole filler. It was like, they've got fucking Lucy there just talking about, oh, Aquarius is having a problem with a fucking boyfriend, Scorpio. I was just like, what am I watching right now? It's like, I'm watching, like, am I watching Fairy Tale, which I love, you know, for its action, you know, big boobs and what have you. I'm, I'm looking at teen drama right now. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why am I watching this? Like, yo, Aquarius talking about a fucking love life right now. It's like, what? If I want a slice of life romance, I'll go and fucking, you know, read something else like that. I was like, that was the thing. And not to mention as well, with the filler as well, with the irrelevant fairy tale man. It's like, why are we seeing fucking Mizana? The two other fuckers, Kana, and like, and fucking Elfman talking right now. It's like, no one gives a fuck for them right now. We're not seeing the tournament right now. We're not even seeing the executions. What the fuck was your point there? I'm just saying, oh, they might do fine. It's like, it was stupid that bit. And just, you know, the most satisfying part of this episode was when, you know, fucking Pantheli was fucking people up. All of them, when Natsu as well, when Natsu, he was going against that guy and he gave them a bit more saying, yo, he fucks him up with that scythe magic that he had. Like, you were able to impress that he throw a scythe and it would go everywhere. But also as well, one of them nullifies magic when Natsu breaks that thing and he punches him in the fucking face saying, this is what we are. This is what a fairy tale. And it's like, we'll go back to the place that we belong. It's like, that was so satisfying. Natsu did a fucking well done job in that thing. And it's just like, when they all just see like them just like crashed at the end and saying, oh, look, we all had a good time. And like, now it's just laughing. It's like, oh, good timing, guys. <laughs> we all kicked ass at the same time. And it's like, and the guys are just like, so drunk. He's like, they're cracking his knuckles. Like, yo, you better tell us, you know, how to get out of there. Otherwise, we'll be doing the execution. And now it's like, oh, such a satisfying ending to that. Definitely as well, like, with the issues with the filler aside, it was a solid episode for the parts they showed. And animation, for the most part, it looked pretty solid. There were some simple faces, a little bit derpy here and there. But it was a solid episode. I mean, I'm more happier just to be out of the executioners now and for what it is i give this one like a 6.5 to 7 but definitely that stuff with like just the pacing really pissed me off the whole stuff with lucy right now it's just like 
it was just like, get the fuck on with it. It was just that. That was the whole thing of this episode. But now we're finished with it. Preview for next week. We get to see Kagler. We get to see Minerva. Urza. Like, we're getting to see that fight right now. And it's like, yo, it's now we're getting back into the tournament. Things are going to be look sick. But, you know, that's what I thought about. It was a solid episode. Like, it wasn't a rant-worthy episode, but it was close to it. And it was just, like, rant-worthy for the past. So it was a bit annoying here and there. But let me know what you think in this conversation down below. Are you finally happy that we are with these shitty executioners? Like, but that's all for me. So thank you very much for watching. As always, remember, I'll see you guys next time. And straight up.